Hello, Ryan here, aka Ari Wrath, and welcome back to the Zero to Hero series. This is season two, in fact. Season one was a little while ago. Sorry it's taken so long to get back to doing this series. Um, season one, do check it out. It is more about what you can do to make cash outside of things like bounty hunting and combat. For new players, specifically getting into game, not wanting to delve too deeply into things, but just learn the basics. So I will link that below if you want to check out that season. This season is kind of following on from that, but more making the cash, making some money, upgrading my ship. Now, I'm not going to go straight out and buy a new ship. I'm going to stick with the Mustang that I have, which is actually even more useful now because with this build, I think it was 317 in specifically, the cargo bay will now fall down and you can put boxes in there, which you couldn't do before. So the Mustang was pretty useless. But now it is far more use, as well as it being relatively agile and quite decent at combat. So what we will do, instead of just going out and trying to buy a new ship, I will upgrade the components because these are all pretty shoddy being uh, a lot of them grade D, a few of them grade C, but all of them civilian class. Um, if we can get to like military class, that'll be nice. Also, upgrading the weapons, getting some better size 2 weapons on if possible, and doing some combat as well, some service beacons, because there are a, quite a few new missions. I mean, this is one new mission. I'm not going to go straight into doing this one. This is one of the Reclaimer derelicts, I believe. So we will leave that for another time. But what I'm going to do today... Now, Ari does kind of see himself... As a bit of a history buff, he loves the history of the verse. He loves the collecting artifacts and relics and all that kind of stuff. So we're gonna he's gonna take a bit of a vacation through to um, to Microtech, as the bulk of the new content does tend to be there. And he's he's heard whispers through the grapevine that there are Hadesian artifacts. There are war medals, histor historical war medals to be found at these uh, derelict outposts around Microtech. So he's going to go through there, try and earn some cash um, while searching for those. Now I have, if you may have noticed, actually gotten rid of all my cash. This is a zero to hero. I don't like starting out with a lot of lot of money. They, CIG may be allocating a million each. I don't know if... I don't think I'm going to get any on this account because I don't think I've actually played much of 317 one with this guy, so we should be safe. But yeah, I'm gonna go through to Microtech. Let me just see what we got here. Uh, vehicle weapons. Go through to Microtech, spend some time at New Babbage, do some of these missions trying to raid these outposts. There I should be able to get equipped with armor and whatnot, as well as find some decent equipment um, weapon-wise. And see if we can find some of these artifacts just to keep. We will do other things as well, but yeah, instead of going out and buying new ships, I want to upgrade my current ship and continue on down that path more than anything. So, like, get my Mustang completely kitted out, because it is a decent ship. It is, it's a useful ship, and it has some good capabilities before, you know, kitted out completely before I go around buying new ships. And then hopefully by the time 318 comes around, we can buy ourselves a Vulture. <laughs> That's the plan anyway. Um, but with that said... I don't think there's anything I can afford right now anyway, so let's make our way through to Microtech. We have very basic equipment. I've got one of those for some reason. I think that was from a previous uh, event. Oh, that was the Argo cargo winning best ship. So I've got a med pen. I've got my trusty arc light pistol and my Odyssey spacesuit. I've got a helmet and that is it. I have a Mustang. With a nice paint scheme, which is which is a nice, doesn't do anything for the ship other than make it look aesthetically better. But all the components are crap. We're going to fly through, we're going to earn what we can, and upgrade it. So, with that said, hang tight. We are going to make our way through to Microtech and set, set our spawn at New Babbage. Or maybe Port Tressler, because the elevators, I think, are being a bit, a bit foobar. I'm going to miss Area 18, but we will be back. Just taking a short, a short break, short vacation. Now, before we embark on our journey, let me just show you this rear cargo bay. The hangar is 
seriously way too big for the ship. So you open it by hitting these buttons here. And not only is it the cargo bay, it also allows you to access the ship's storage. Oh, hang on, I need to open the door. So any of those little box missions where you've got to put those, you know, three boxes, four boxes, you can fit them in here. I mean, you can actually probably carry one, two, three, four, five, about five people if you wanted to use it as a subtle drop ship where no one would expect it. Uh, but yeah, if you, like, outside here, you've got your local inventory. You go inside and you have your vehicle inventory. So you can actually access the vehicle inventory here rather than having to do what we were doing last season and try and find a way of jumping to the back of the cockpit which is now even more cluttered with stuff making it even harder so an amazing quality of life update there for the mustang which makes the ship perfectly viable for most things now just like the um, aurora has been for a while now anyway i just wanted to show you that we're gonna head off to microtech and then we will be back So, we just have to make a quick stop off to get refueled, because the uh, current quantum drive won't allow me to travel all the way from Artcorp to Microtech. It'll allow me to get to Hurston though, so we're going to stop off at Everest Harbour, get refueled, topped up. Hopefully I've got enough. I've only got 568 uh, Alpha UEC, so we... Uh, we should have enough to at least get some fuel to make it there, because we are a lot closer now. Uh, but yeah, I just thought we would take in the sights. In fact, there's hangars now at space stations, which are very cool. You can land. Let me just see about this. Hang on. You can actually land at pads. If you have just a quick drop off to do. Well, I have no idea where they are, but apparently you can you can just land on the pads, do your drop off, and then take off again. These are intended hangars are intended for long term stays. Pads are just stop off, you know, getting some food, getting some weapons, dropping off a box, that kind of thing. Um, and your ship is obviously vulnerable there, whereas in a, in a hangar, you are protected. So that is the intention as to why they brought hangars in like this. Well, one of the intentions. Really, they just didn't want ships popping in and out when they, uh, when players land. So, let's see. Uh, it doesn't work. And see if we can fly around this space station, see if we can find a, uh, a landing pad. Hopefully that'll allow me to refuel. See, I don't think these are landing pads. These are hangars, aren't they? Oh no, these are landing pads. Okay, good, good, good. Let's put it down here, see if it works. I'm relatively optimistic it will. Oh, did I just take that back? I thought I had it up. Please work. So these are just temporary stop-off points, which do allow you to refuel. Excellent. And it's only going to cost me 29. Beautiful. So we'll just let that run. I'm not going to repair. I'm not going to get some hydrogen fuel. I'm determined not to repair too often. Not because of cost or anything, but just more because your ships do degrade over time. And I think I'm so used to just landing and repairing that I don't get to see that happening. Okay. Let us push on to Microtech. We've got another 38 million to go. But yeah, nice to know that you've got the hangars if you want to stay a bit more permanently. Or you've got the pads if you want to just do a drop-off. But you are vulnerable. Anyway, I'll be back in a second once we have finally made it to Microtech. Alright, so it's quite simple to set your spawn point. Or your regen point. It also reallocates... Anytime you buy anything new, it'll be sent to this location in terms of the local storage. Everything else is still established at Area 18, but once I move this over, anything I purchase, I can I can store here. Here it is, regeneration. So do bear that in mind. 
and you just go transfer imprints that's primary residence which is 59 million kilometers away otherwise if we die we'd have to come all the way back to um area 18 which is not good so i don't think i have enough 539 to purchase a medical gun which i don't need to because I can find them all over the spot. And the thing is, Microtech has got the majority of the content now for 318, uh, for 317 too, sorry. With uh, the derelict reclaimer being Ghost Hollow. Really cool place, but a big place of contention. So do be careful ever traveling there. If you leave your ship close by, they can, people will destroy it. It's happened. Most of the time, people are friendly around there. I'd say 50-50 actually, around Ghost Hollow. Uh, but these derelict outposts... Every time I've been there, the players have been friendly because they're there looking for boxes and so forth. So we will take a look and hopefully one of them will pop up. They, they usually pop up here. They're, they're called in the delivery tab, they're called Retrieval Up. And you just have to go and pick up a box. While you're there, there may be NPCs that you can take on, steal their, uh, take their gear and loot them. They may have a Cutlass come in and drop off some resupply, uh, some more troops. I've never had that happen. I've had a cutlass land, but nothing happened, and that was on the PTU, so I'm still waiting to see that. But they often have boxes dotted around as well, loot boxes. And in them, you can find some decent gear, armor, rarely weapons, food, sustenance, uh, but also dolivine, which is one of the hand mineables. It's the cheapest out of the three, but you can often make a good 23 grand just from looting them. Better to take a backpack, because otherwise you're going back and forth to your ship. But what I might do for now, um, as we're waiting on them to pop up, always, always, especially if you're planning to do any form of fighting, be that on foot or uh, in a ship, always just mark up, call to arms, you don't have to keep it tracked, untrack it, but anytime you shoot anyone or kill anyone, be that an NPC or a player, and they have a crime stat, you will gain extra credits. Uh, the higher the crime stat, the higher the credits. Usually it's about four, 500 for the basic. Uh, I'm not going to be doing Jump Town. But I will keep an eye out for any of the, of the new missions. There are derelict reclaimer missions in space as well. But I think I would rather get more kitted out. I want to be a bit more prepared this season. Not forgetting things. Not going off and doing things that are going to be too dangerous straight away. So let's just start by going and doing a basic box mission, kicking off our um, reputation with UDM. And see if we can get ourselves a medical gun, a tractor beam, maybe some armor, that kind of thing. So let's do that now, and I will, uh, I won't show this too much because this was all what I was doing last time. And it can get a bit dull seeing the same stuff, but at least this will, I'll come back and forth so you can see. Whenever I, whatever I get, basically. Right, two seconds. So, funnily enough, this particular box mission has taken us to Cleo and uh, Rayari McGrath outpost, which is the outpost near where the snake pit is, which is the fan-created racetrack that CIG have established some um, kind of infrastructure there to give it more of a, a track feel, to make obstacles and so forth. So, pretty interesting. Great place to race. I've, I've had a go myself, I'm not that good. I actually barely even make it round one lap before dying. There's someone over there. In an inferno, in fact. But yeah, this is a cool track to try out. I think the starting point is on my crosshair now. This gate. And then from here, you just follow the track around until you complete a full lap. Great with the Dragonfly. I really want to do more Dragonfly races. Um, <clears throat> I, I do enjoy racing in ships. I'm not that good. I'm not even that good on a Dragonfly, to be fair. But I will certainly give it a bit more of a, a go going forward, especially with all these fan-created races. But yeah, definitely worth checking out if you want to do a bit of racing. A lot of fun. I wonder if I can refuel my uh, quantum fuel here, actually. 
Excellent, I can. I'll do both. What is going on? What is going on? Don't do it to me, wind. Did it? It refueled it, thankfully, but the wind is really strong here by the looks of things. I think we are facing towards the wind, so at least we are in the most aerodynamic angle. Okay, we seem to be alright for now. We'll grab this box, stick it in the back here. Whee! And I'll do some looting while I'm here. Right, I'll be back in a second. Whew, this wind is brutal. Got the package. Some medical supplies. Let's uh, get this down. Hopefully I've got a good angle to get in there. Uh, and then we'll check out the other outposts. See if we can find any more gear. I have just got myself a chest piece and a um, some leg armor as well. It's not the nicest. It's not the most interesting. It is bright red and bright blue. <laughs> but it could be worse. You know? It's free. I'm not going to grumble. So that'll keep me going for a short while. Anyway, let's get let's get looting. See what we can find. Let me put that back up first. Right, so we have just done some looting of this Rayari station. Rayari actually a um a company that's behind the majority of the genetically modified plants that you see around New Babbage. They, those, a lot of those plants were designed to aid in terraforming of planets, so a lot of them help to clean the air, uh, amongst other things, maybe provide food and whatnot. But anyway, um, right now, I have a bit of a different outfit going on. We have, I found this Morozov helmet, which is the brush drift one, which is very cool. I do like it a lot. How do we go back up? There we go. It's probably better like this. Uh, and then I've got the orange uh, Venture Core. I've got some yeah, these clacks, defense systems, arms, and some Mac Flex legs. In the local area, which I will take. The, why is that in that local? That's weird. Oh, I see. Hang on. I also found all of this. So three tractor beams. A few multi-tools, three multi-tools, a mining or th three of them, which I'll keep as well. I'll keep one of those. I'll keep one of the tractor beams and I'll keep one of the medical things here just to use. A few helmets, quite a bit of clothing as well, which is nice. I've got a full outfit there to wear around as a civilian. Lots of boots, some sustenance, just so that I've got it if I need it. The, the previous armor set that I had, which I will sell if I can. And some ratna dung or ranta dung, which is worth about 44 UEC each. So not a, a lot of decent gear here that I can use most mostly, but the rest I can sell and see what we can make just on this alone while we finish this mission and, uh, and then see what other missions pop up. But I've got myself kitted out with some light armor, a bit of a mishmash. Eventually it'll all come together once I find other bits, but not too shabby. I don't think we're gonna make a lot of money from all this, but we should make some. So with that said, let me head back to my uh, my ship and we'll go off and finish the mission. On these moons and planets that are really windy, I advise that when you enter and exit the airlock, you do so crouching. Be um, wrong way. Because if you don't, you can be flung around and on occasion it can throw you to the point where you die. Because the wind will throw you back, you will f fly into whatever. Like if I exit now, and it, it'll, it could throw me back into the wall, and that will kill me. So the only way to get out and in safely is to crouch. Like so. And you will not be flung around. You can see my head sort of jolted back there as if it was trying to, but... Anytime you're in a place where it's like this... Crouch when you're going in and out. But anyway, I'm going to head back to, I believe it's Microtech. Oh no, uh, we've got to take it to the other outpost on 
Oh, I, an outpost on Calliope. Okay, so the Shuban outpost on Calliope. While I'm there, I'll raid that as well. The mission hasn't popped up for the retrieval op, so we'll just do this to make a bit of cash and to get kitted out first. Uh, Off-screen majority, because you've seen it all before. And then when I get back, we will um, see what's available then. This is the Ares Inferno, by the way. It is kind of a capital ship hunter. Is it a size 7 weapon? I think. I can't remember. An absolute beast. Not. It's been kind of nerfed and whatnot previously, just to kind of fit in with the alpha that we're playing now. But eventually, especially when physical damage comes along, it'll really come into its own. Right, all good. Let me get looting, and then I'll come back and uh, we'll reassess what I have. All of that loot fitted in my ship, by the way. There was plenty of room to pop it in. Oh, this place has been looted already. Well, that's three grand for completing that mission. Excellent. And it also unlocks more missions with UDM, so your reputation can be built. Right now, I am a junior runner, level 1 with UDM, and then when you get to level 2, you unlock some new mission. Well, like 45,000 UBC mission. But that's good. It unlocks these new missions where you can pick up three packages. Wrong one. And you can get 8,000 at a time. But I'm not here for that. Right, I'll be back in a sec. Right, time to leave. Oh, Jesus. Oh. The wind must have suddenly just gotten behind me then. Got some more loot from there, so I will just transfer that over from the local to my vehicle inventory so I don't forget it. And although I won't be able to sell all of it, I'm sure, the good majority, um, I should, but here we are. I've got a load more armor, a lot of helmets. These alone, I think, these Nor Novikov helmets are worth about 1,500 each, I think. I also did get one of them, a medical gun, which is definitely what I need. So I'm going to keep them. Got some more ranta dung. Again, not going to get a lot for that. But helmets looking good. Got some arrow armor, blue. I've got a helmet to match that. So we are slowly gathering sets, I guess. But again, I'll just transfer all this, head back to New Babbage, sell what I can from the various shops around there and see what we've made today in terms of profit. Because the mission, I don't think, is still up yet. Oh, there is one. Excellent. We will do that. So, in order to sell all this stuff from my ship... Oh, hang on. Did I just turn my power off? No, good. In order to sell all the stuff from my ship, you don't need... I, I used to just transfer everything to the local inventory of this environment to sell. But you don't need to. You can just leave it in your ship. I think, hopefully with it being here, I should be able to access it. I'll try and check now. If not, I can come back and do that off camera and transfer it. But it should be alright, even outside these garages. But we'll see what we can sell. I won't be able to sell it all. Some shops will buy certain things, others won't. They'll offer different amounts of cash based on whether they are interested or not, or how much they're interested. Uh, and hopefully we can make a bit of cash from all this gear. And the, ra the ranta dung, I think I need to go to the admin office. Either that or the TDD. And then we'll go and grab that box from the derelict outpost, which is only 40 kilometers away from here, so it's not far to go. Right, is it here? Cell, location, Mustang Alpha, Ranta. Okay, <laughs> not quite a thousand. Not a great amount, but... Nothing to be sniffled at. There we go, we're up to 4,400 now. So next up is Shubin Interstellar. See if they will buy anything. They may buy some um, armor that is... not combat orientated. Oh, they'll buy the Aral stuff. I will sell one of the helmets for 600, quick sell. But I will keep the other one. Because I do want to see if I can collect the full Aral blue helmet, especially if we're going mining places. This one I'll sell 777, that's a nice amount. Oh, we're going to make quite a killing here. This Balor helmet, this heavy helmet. 
I'm inclined to keep it, to be fair. As a bit of heavy heavy armor. I'm going to get rid of the AD, ADP, though. Don't need that. But I've got an orange chest piece, so I will keep that. That is a, an insipid color, so I'm going to get rid of that. Apologies if you like the color. There we go. Um, I'll get rid of the blue orc armor. I'll, I'll do this more off screen, and I'll come back once it's all done, and you can see exactly how much I have made. Bear in mind, we started with 4,400 after selling that ram to Dung. Here we go, look, 1,500 per helmet. Whew. Anyway, I'll be back in a sec. Let me just go through all this, see what I can sell around New Babbage, and then I'll, I'll see what we end up with, and I'll buy a weapon and go and do this mission. Can't wait. Right, Shuban will buy things like the multi-tools... The medical gun, which I'm going to keep anyway because they are very handy, especially if I'm doing medical beacons, responding to players being needing reviving, I will I will do that. I've also kept a, a couple of bits here just to kind of build up the set. Um, the multi-tool I'll sell probably at a cargo deck because 145 is not a great amount of cash. And these lifeguard medical attachments, you want to be selling them at a clinic. You can get far more for it. I've sold a couple of these. I've kept one of the orbit mining attachments because I figure Shuban would be the best place to sell them to and the tractor beam I'll keep and take that to a cargo dep depot. But let me go around to Centimas and see what they can buy because I do have some other armor pieces, I think. But so far, we're up to 12 and a half grand. And we haven't even finished yet. So, not too shabby. Right, let's see what we can sell at Centimas now. So we've got to change this again to... There, nothing, nothing at all. We can only sell the flares. And for some reason, the yellow one is very undesirable. So that looks like all we can sell here for the time being. There are other options of places to sell a Port Tressler. But right now, I'm going to head off and do this pickup package. What have I got? Have I got a pistol? Yeah, I've got one Arc Light pistol. A paramed and a multi-tool with tractor beam. So, we're not too bad at the moment. I can take that off. I don't need that Humazal pen. But I will put my helmet on before I forget. But what I'll do, when I get to my ship, I'm going to transfer everything into the local inventory so I've got it all here. And then I will fill up with anything I find at this derelict outpost. Pick up the package, loot what I can, see if I can find some of these artifacts and medals and whatnot. Because that's really what Ari Rath wants to get. He wants to collect all this stuff because he loves it. So let's do that. But I should be fine with just a pistol, I hope. That's not the elevator, is it? No, that's the fire exit. So we are just approaching the derelict outpost. Now, we're not actually that far away from New Babbage at all. There's two of these outposts very close by, one in the opposite direction to where I'm going, more in that direction. But there is a potential for a... Um, there we are, we're out of the Amistice Zone. There is a potential for a Cutlass to come drop in reinforcements. There is a potential for other players to be around here. Not, or, not necessarily hostile, but you never know. And there is also a potential for NPCs to be around here who are hostile. So we are going to be pretty safe about this. Not go rushing in, try and take our time, because I do want to get all the loot and come back. I have moved everything out of my ship's inventory to the local inventory as well. So far, not picking up any, any of the ships around here. That's the box I need to pick up. just slowly bring it down. I'm going to land close by because I feel that if I land far away it's longer for me to try and get to my ship to get out. If anyone comes and starts shooting and they might destroy my ship or they might destroy me and it's better to just be close to it. Right, here we go. As soon as I press Y we are out of the ship and on the ground. I didn't do a weapon check beforehand either. We've got 30 rounds. So weapon. Damn it. I didn't bring a tractor beam. Okay, never mind. But I do have some medical gel, which is great. OK, 
can't lean again. There's always, there's often a bug that stops me from leaning. It's really annoying. You can see the UI is leaning when I tap Q and uh, an E, but the actual thing doesn't lean itself, which is most frustrating. I didn't detect any, I didn't see any uh, enemy around. But that's not to say they're not here. And we have about 30 minutes of duration here before we are frozen to the core. So let me just do a bit of a perimeter walk. It's a bit white. Can't really see much. Oh, that box is flapping around. Let's not get near that. Not seen any loot boxes as yet, but they are often hidden quite well. You have to be quite thorough searching for them because they can just be um, like nestled underneath here and out in some other ruins. But my lord, it's bright. Sometimes they can just be slotted in here as well. It seems pretty clear. I haven't heard anyone, any NPC, but they're not that capable at the moment. They are still on running on crappy servers, so most of the time the AI don't react all that swiftly. No loot boxes either so far, which would be a big shame because I have managed to find, as I say, a good 20 grand's worth of dollar vine from some of these locations. And I'm hoping I'll find something this time. That's not a loot box. Man, this weather is crazy. But it's not often I come down and find zero loot boxes. Sometimes they're hidden at the back there as well. And it's not often I come down and don't find any AI either, so I'm quite surprised about that. Plenty left to explore though. We'll climb up here, see if there's any loot boxes on top of this bit. That's my ship, it freaked me out for a second then. I thought someone else was here. All right, let's go up. Hopefully the storm will pass and I'll be able to see a little better. So yeah, no loot boxes on there. Is there one up here? No, nothing at all. Looks like the storm's starting to pass. So we might be all right for the time being. Armor's holding it well. Without that, it would be a lot colder. Fill in there. Man, a real disappointing run, but that's the way it goes. Sometimes you find stuff, sometimes you don't. I don't think there's anything up there worth grabbing, is there? No. Put that away. Don't think we need it, to be fair. No, no loot whatsoever. Not even what looks to be a subtle little box anywhere hiding away from me. Saying that, I have had it where I think maybe someone has taken on a mission that brings them to here as well. And the box has just kind of spawned in, not in front of my eyes. They, they, you know, I'd moved away. They weren't there the first time and then I came back and they were. But there's usually something... Just tucked away in one of these little nooks. Ah, looks like we're just coming to grab the box this time around. Nothing up there, I don't think. 
No, never mind. No NPCs, no loot boxes, so it is just literally coming and grabbing the box and then getting out of here again. Maybe we'll be luckier the next time. But these aren't loot boxes either. Nope, what a shame. Anyway, we'll grab this. Head back, drop it off. I think we've got to drop it off at New Babbage. And then we'll call it a day for episode one, I think. It's quite a long one, by the looks of things. And we've made a semi-decent amount of cash by doing other stuff. But the next time I come in, I'll check out another one of these. Hopefully not the same one. And we'll see if we can find some relics. See if we can get some weapons. Get ourselves properly kitted out. But I am loving this new Mustang ability. It is... Just love, just love that in there. It's nothing of any importance. It is wonderful. Yeah, back to New Babbage. Probably a landing pad. Anyway, I'll catch you all very soon. Lovely job. So I think that was 4,000. So all in all, not a bad amount of cash. Again, I'm not trying to make the most amount of money in the shortest amount of time. I specified that in my previous series. I do suggest watching that first before coming over to this series. Uh, but I understand wanting to start off with 317.2 and not whatever that patch was, 315, I think. But yeah, I'm playing the game how I like it and what, doing what I want to do and what I enjoy rather than just trying to grind as much cash in the shortest amount of time because I don't find that fun. Um, I find that quite restrictive. But obviously, you can do what you want to do. Everyone is different. Everyone has different um, wants and needs and approaches. And for me personally, I just enjoy playing. I really do. There's a lot to enjoy. There's a lot of bugs. Thankfully, we haven't hit many this time around. There's definitely still time, though. Okay, so... <laughs> we were just sat in Elroy's. In my fancy uh, cumulus jacket and pants and whatever. About to finish the episode when I stood up and fell through the floor. So we're going to end the episode here. Thankfully, I'm in an armistice zone or a landing zone. So when I do die and respawn... I will be in the clothing that I died in. Nothing will be lost, but yeah. Don't sit down at Elroy's. You won't get back up again. But anyway, with that said, in fact, hang on. Let's speed this on. There we go. Right, as I was saying, um... We are now uh, respawned in the clinic above uh, Microtech, which means I'll have to claim my ship again unless I can get some transport down. But that is it for this episode. We managed to get about 12 and a bit, no, 16 and a half thousand, which is not bad to say we've just been starting out. We only have um, a Mustang. And uh, yeah, we've managed to loot our way to some decent gear. We've made some decent cash. But unfortunately, the uh, the retrieval op did not go as planned. There wasn't a lot of loot there, and there weren't any enemies there. So tomorrow, I will, Ari, will wake up and try again. I will be back with the next episode. Hopefully, this is one episode, maybe two. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but I will be back soon. In the meantime, do head over to twitch.tv forward slash supermatbrother. I have a lot of other Zero to Heroes going on there. Everything all right, mate? See what he has to say. All good? Need a hand? I guess not. Yeah, I do have a Zero to Hero happening over at uh, Twitch. So you can continue watching there. If you've got any questions, by all means, ask away. 
you know, if there's anything, if you're new to the game and you want uh, advice, or even if you're a veteran you're coming back again, by all means, ask away. I am more than happy to help. Oops, excuse me, mate. In fact, let's sit down there. But yeah, I'll be back continuing on this series. Nice to get back to it. In the meantime, I will cover all of the other news and information going on in the world of Star Citizen. So with that said, do me a solid and hit subscribe. Like the video if you did. It also helps out the channel. And tick that notification bell if you'd like to be notified when my videos go live. Also, big thank you to my patrons and channel members for making these, this content possible. So thank you so much. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.